this really stinking cute vintage cake pan and turning it into something fun and rustic. For this fun project, you're going to need to pick up this blue patina metal effects paint kit from Modern Masters along with this cute vintage bunny cake pan. This is going to be so much fun to see the transformation of this aluminum vintage cake pan to its amazing patinaed finish. So you're going to want to grab this kit and I'm going to show you a little bit about what's inside of it. Um, so first of all, they give you everything you need to create this project, which I absolutely love. This primer is going to be the first step that we do, followed by the bronze paint and then the patina aging finish, which is the amazing part. Um, just stay tuned and watch to the end. You're going to want to see how this turns out. So I took the aluminum bunny cake pan and my foam brush and just added the primer onto it. So you can add this amazing primer to just about any um, piece that you want to make look old, rusted, patinaed. Um, I've used this on a plastic mailbox. I will link that project below in case you missed it, but it turned out so, so awesome. So you're going to want to thoroughly cover the first uh, layer with this primer and then hit it with your heat gun just to kind of give it a little bit of dryer. Now I went ahead and did a second layer. If you have the time, it's really good to let them dry about 30 minutes at least in between each part, but the heat gun really sped it up for me. Now the foam brush lets me get all into every groove and all the nooks and crannies of this little bunny pan. Absolutely love. And so this is both sides of the bunny pan completely covered in two coats of primer. Now we're gonna go to the bronze paint. This is what's gonna give it that darker color. The first color almost looks like a copper if I would have left it that way, but we really want the bronze paint because this is what the aging solution is going to activate with. So I'm going to give it a really good um, initial cover and then on the second cover we're going to use that patina solution that I showed you there. They give you the little squirt bottle lid to put into your bottle that it comes in and this is key so pay attention. Pay attention if you haven't been paying attention. You're going to want to put a little bit of the second coat of bronze on at a time. So once you get a small section ready, you're going to lightly spritz your piece with the patina spray. If you're nervous, do what I did. I sprayed the paper towel first, just to kind of see what kind of a spray radius I was gonna get. Um, and then decide how far away from your piece you want to um, hit it with the spray. And then continue, add a little bit of bronze paint and then add a little spritz of the aging solution. Now, I went ahead and dried it a little bit in between, but um, it's going to start turning a little bit immediately. I'm just gonna show you here in the little crannies and crooks, cro nooks and crooks and crannies of the bunny, um, but trust me, over the next couple of hours, this will make a transformation. Um, you can kind of see what it started to do there. I went ahead and added a bow to the front of my bunny cake pan, and then I added a square styrofoam piece from the Dollar Tree with some hot glue to the inside so that it would go onto my wreath better. And then I used a zip tie for the back of the block. I adhered all of it to the um, wreath form with the garland with zip ties, and look at how it turned out. You guys, I hung it with a ribbon. It is so adorable. I have an entire blog post for you on it. If you want to, I will link that below so that you can check it out. This is one that I definitely want you to try because it is so easy, so fun. The other cake pan I'm using on my Easter table. This Easter wreath is one that will um, be a showstopper and everyone who stops by will be like, how did you make that cute, cute wreath? If you love videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button for me as well as the notification bell so that you can be informed every time I make one of these. It really helps me out and I appreciate you. Happy Easter.